I think a question that always came to my mind is how can I be of most benefit? How can I be of most benefit to myself and how can I be of great benefit to other people with the unique strengths, gifts and talents that I have? And you know, I see this as a question for so many people. How can we be of greatest benefit? How can we live life where we feel we're fully engaged, enjoying ourselves, uh, living to our fullest potential and not being caught up in all the negativity? And you know, this is just a natural question for so many people. If it isn't a question, then it's probably just being suppressed and you know we're not really looking at it there might be ideas that we have to go along with a, a certain conventional pattern and not question what we think our desire to be of benefit is but deep down we just really recognize it's so natural to to want to be helpful to want to uh, not live a life of stress of confusion of of worry you know we just want to live a, a relaxed and potent life so um, in Balanced View we find a very effective and effortless way of tapping into our greatest potential, our greatest benefit. It's in short moments of open intelligence repeated many times that we see this inherent desire to be of benefit is synonymous with open intelligence, with our power to know. So firstly, we need to be introduced to open intelligence. And we've had the, we always have the introduction here. We can always remember the introduction to open intelligence. It's as simple as stopping thinking for a moment and identifying your alertness, what's looking through your eyes. It's so simple. It's not some big mystery. You know, trying to understand it on an intellectual level won't get us very far. Actually, it might bring us very far. <laughs> but really, keep it to the simplicity. What is looking right now through your eyes, boom, open intelligence, intelligence, intelligence. Not mystical, not mysterious in some sense that we don't experience it. Just because there are a lot of ideas about what the nature of reality are, is, are, doesn't mean we can't experience it right now, right now, right now. So really keep it that simple. The introduction to open intelligence again and again. Coming back to that instinctive recognition. Just like you know your name, you know your intelligence. It's always on. I'm, Somebody can't give you your intelligence and nobody can take that away from you. So open intelligence like the vast reaches of infinite space, inexhaustible, inexhaustible potency. And it's exciting to actually think that our identity is that. Thinking that the identity is a, a limited definition of somebody with a set of characters, characteristics. That's a very limited way of living. You know, if we only consider ourselves as somebody locked within a skin suit who has this amount of good qualities and then thinking, well, I've got all these bad qualities about myself and then looking at however many people are in the world today and then thinking the same thing, well, they ha there's all these good qualities and all these bad qualities that gets really out of hand and confusing and frightening. So the prospect of seeing ourselves as not defined by all of these descriptive labels, but as something fully beneficial, intelligent, alert, alive, indestructible. That's an amazing prospect. And in each short moment, we, we claim that for ourselves. It doesn't matter what anyone else is saying about human identity. It has to come in our direct experience, and that was, that's what we're all doing here. It's our direct experience of open intelligence. The direct experience of our powerful, exalted identity. <laughs> and then shouting out to everyone that we are this powerful, exalted identity. And, and in the Balanced View communities, we actually demonstrate this. People who are relying on all of the four mainstays of Balanced View, 
the practice of short <laughs> moments, relying on a trainer, relying on the training media, and then immersing in the community and participating in service, there you'll see actual demonstrations of people who have claimed this exalted, inexhaustible identity rather than a, a package of good and bad qualities. So then it becomes very real in our experience, not some far out concept, not just even a theory or an idea, it becomes a lived reality. Rather than trying to be open intelligence, we live a lifestyle of open intelligence. And this is where I've seen that my own um, desire to be of benefit of all has just become my manifest reality. It hasn't come about through trying to fit my descriptions into an idea of how I can be of benefit and how my, everything about me is the desire to be of benefit. It's been by showing up in this Four Mainstays lifestyle, allowing <laughs> everything about myself to be as it is. Um. <clears throat> so if we're new to the training, it, the question may come up, well, how do you allow everything to be as it is? How do you actually recognize your identity as open intelligence rather than an idea that we're all minds trapped in a skin suit. Well, the only way to do that is through short moments. Short moments of allowing descriptions to be just as they are, seeing that open intelligence is unaffected by any of the descriptions. Boredom, allowing it to be as it is, rather than jumping on the descriptions and getting caught up in the descriptions. Feeling elated, allowing descriptions to be as they are, allowing open intelligence to be as it is, seeing what the spontaneous reality in those descriptions. And the same with pleasant data as well. And you see right now in this moment there's a the un open intelligence is unaffected by any of the data that you experience. The data are fleeting, ever-changing. When left as they are, we see they are this potency, this power to be of great benefit. And then we don't have to question, well, how will I use my strengths, gifts, and talents to be of benefit to all? It just naturally becomes the case. And then reflecting on the simplicity of being a human. Reflecting on, and right, right now it's very easy to be ourselves. Even if we have pleasant data about ourselves or unpleasant. We, in the short moment of letting it be as it is, it's very easy. There's nothing to do about the data in this very moment. The environment of, of the Balance View communities and being in the training setting, it makes it easier to allow things to be as they are for short moments. There's nothing to prove here, nothing to defend. And you see, open intelligence hasn't gone anywhere. It hasn't changed. That initial introduction to open intelligence is not different now than it was five minutes ago. The introduction to open intelligence yesterday is no different than it will be tomorrow. Every time you check in, open intelligence is exactly the same. You may feel different sensations, you may have different emotions, you may have different thoughts that has open intelligence been, un been affected by the data. Whether you have thoughts going through your mind and on repeat, or whether there, there are no thoughts. And every time you check in, open intelligence is stable, it's reliable. And, you know, we hadn't been looking at our intelligence in this way. But every time you rely on short moments, it, this 
assurance in the trustworthiness of open intelligence becomes more and more apparent. And that's how we can make skillful decisions. From the settledness of open intelligence, we know how to make skillful decisions that are spontaneous. And they're not based on a rule book saying if you've been relying on open intelligence for X number of years, then your decision will be this or that. It's spontaneous decision making on the fly where you just know what will be of benefit to yourself and others. And you'll surprise yourself. You'll just see yourself doing whatever is needed rather than having to think a lot about it. If there is thinking a lot about how to make a decision, right there, introduce yourself to open intelligence. You also have the other of the mainstays to support in making decisions, train or the training the community. Other people living a four mainstays empowered lifestyle. It makes it easier to spontaneously decide. So how many minds do you think we have right now? It's a kind of a fun question to think about, but this, this one mind blazing forth, shining brightly, the question doesn't even arise any longer of how many minds there are. That just is evaporated. These, these intellectual questions are subsumed in the power of open intelligence, meaning they just, they don't come up any longer. It's fun to entertain them for a while, but five minutes later we're on to being of benefit. So, you know, these philosophical questions are really absorbed in the power to be of benefit to all. You know, we see that one minute we're thinking about the nature of reality and then the next minute we're cooking lunch for somebody. Or it just becomes a, a life of spontaneous benefit. <coughs> so my only advice would be, you know, really test out the, the Four Mainstays lifestyle to really get comfortable with your beneficial nature, your beneficial identity.